There are five phases of a singles point. Serving, returning, rallying, you're going to the net, and your opponent is going to the net. Well, this coming Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022, I'm holding a two-minute tennis premium members only live group Zoom class where we're gonna discuss these exact situations and the strategies you should use in those situations. So let's have a little bit of a preview of one of the strategies. And it has to do with the phase where you and your opponent are rallying back and forth. So you're behind the baseline, your opponent is behind the baseline. When you find yourself in a rally, there is one strategy you can use that is the most potent when it comes to helping you win the point and forcing errors from your opponent. And that is your ability to hit the ball deep. The deeper you can hit on average, the closer to the baseline you can hit on average, the higher the chances of you forcing an error and winning the match and really owning that phase, that rallying phase in a point. Now, it's easy to say like what to do. Oh, you just hit deep. Well, how do you do it? Well, you actually do it by not focusing so much on the depth. See, there are actually two targets you have to keep track of when you're hitting a ball. The depth and meaning like where you want the ball to land on the court is just one of them. What's the other one? The height over the net. Let me ask you, what percentage of the time when you're hitting backhands and forehands in a rally, are you cognizant of the exact height that you're trying to make your ball cross over the net. In my experience, most players do not think about the height they're aiming over the net. And those who do think about height typically think that the lower they hit the ball over the net, the better. Well, I'm here to tell you, the lower you hit the ball over the net, on average, one, you'll hit the net less, or I'm sorry, you, you'll hit the net more by aiming super low, but also hitting the ball very close to the net makes the ball land shorter in the court. What I like to tell my students is when you're in the match, be the person who's averaging higher over the net, right? If your opponent is hitting the ball on average two feet over the net, and you're hitting the ball on average four feet over the net, their ball will land here on average, and your ball will land back there. Their ball will land short in front of the service line. Your ball, because you're hitting higher, the ball is gonna stay in the air longer. It's gonna get deeper before it lands, and you are going to force more errors. Hitting the ball deep makes it much harder on your opponent. First off, when the ball hits the ground, it slows down. So if you can keep it in the air longer, it keeps its faster speed, longer, which means it gets to your opponent in less time. Also, if you can hit the ball really deep, you force your opponent into an on the rise shot, which most recreational players do not like doing. Or when you hit the ball deep and they don't take it on the rise, you push them so far back, they tend to hit the ball really short. You can come in and hit a drop shot. So many good things come from hitting the ball deep. So the next time you're out on the court, hit the ball higher over the net than you think you should. And I'm not saying for you sh that you should lob. I'm not saying hit the ball 20, 30, 40 feet over the net. I'm just saying average a little bit higher than you normally do. And what you'll notice is the, that you average a little bit deeper in the court than you normally do, and you're gonna force a lot of errors. I really hope that you join me this coming Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. The class is from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but don't worry if you can't join me live because premium members of Two Minute Tennis always get the recording and they can watch it whenever it's convenient for them. Again, to join me for this class, just click the link that's in the description I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. Be the player who averages higher over the net, and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.